The Department of Defense has issued an unclassified summary of a strategy that establishes how DoD will operate in the cyber domain to advance U.S. defense priorities and digitally protect U.S. citizens. The U.S. Space Force established two provisional units of Integrated Mission Delta to consolidate electronic warfare and missile warning operations with satellite communication, positioning, navigation and timing. General Motors Defense Business has signed a Memorandum of Understanding with NP Aerospace, a UK and Canada-based manufacturing company, to collaborate on research and development, post-production support and global logistics sustainment initiatives for military products. The Cyber Security and Infrastructure Security Agency developed a roadmap of its goals to ensure open-source software security within the federal government from 2024 to 2026. Tanya Bradshaw, Chief of Staff for the Department of Veterans Affairs since March 2021, has received confirmation from the Senate to serve as the VA's Deputy Secretary, becoming the first woman to hold the leadership position. The Department of Defense and chemical manufacturing company Albemarle have inked a $90 million agreement to expand domestic lithium mining and production, and support the U.S. battery supply chain. Paul Rosen, Assistant Secretary for Investment Security at the Department of the Treasury, said the Foreign Investment Risk Review Modernization Act of 2018 provided the Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States with key authorities over certain investment structures. The National Security Agency, the FBI and the Cyber Security and Infrastructure Security Agency have released a joint advisory warning national critical infrastructure owners and operators against threats from synthetic media, such as deepfakes. Join Potomac Officers Club's 2023 9th Annual Intel Summit on September 21, 2023. Visit potomacofficersclub.com slash events. The Defense Logistics Agency has awarded contracts to small businesses that responded to solicitations under its Small Business Innovation Research Program to build new warfighting capabilities during the 4th Annual Industry Collider Day held at the McNamara Headquarters Complex. President Joe Biden has appointed Eileen Donahoe, most recently executive director of the Global Digital Policy Incubator at Stanford University's Freeman Spogli Institute for International Studies, a special envoy and coordinator for digital freedom within the State Department's Bureau of Cyberspace and Digital Policy.